I've been in Northern Victoria um, for the last 25 years. Um, I've been dairy farming for the last 10 years, but my first 15 years of that 25 year period was working as a dairy veterinarian in, in the um, in local dairy practice in Northern Victoria. Since July I've been project leader for uh, the NCAF project in Dairy Australia. And uh, it's a role that's been, uh, it's particularly dear to my heart. I've been involved in the fertility project, National Herd Fertility Project, right back since its inception in 1996 and uh, herd fertility is a particular passion of mine. So the top tips for looking for, um, from a fertility point of view, looking to the season ahead, are firstly, know your pregnancy status of your cow. Do some early preg testing so you know where those cows sit. Work out your culling list, work out what cows are the most appropriate to be kept in the herd and what ones are the most appropriate to be, to be sold. That way, with limited feed resources, we can maintain body condition score of the cows that we do have. We really want to make sure that those cows don't become too thin. We want to maintain them in an optimum condition so that they can be productive for us and also they can get in calf for next season. The other thing, the other key message at the moment is just make sure you do a really good job over the joining period with your AI period. Um, and also focus, um, focus on your bull management in the weeks to come. Make sure you've got enough bulls, you're rotating those bulls and they so that you can manage them so that they end up doing a really good job for you. At the moment we really want to um, assist farmers in making in their decision making uh, given this fairly difficult year for, with high feed prices and um, fairly dry conditions. We really would like to recommend farmers conduct early pregnancy testing on their cows so that they can accurately determine whether a cow is pregnant and also age that pregnancy so we can um, have the correct dry off dates, um, we can determine whether a cow is kept or sold in the herd and, and also so we can accurately feed budget for the season ahead so we know how many cows are going to be calving it um, at, at any particular time. And that brings me to another point, as well as preg pregnancy testing the whole herd, we should also look at pregnancy testing the heifers. The heifers are an ideal um, mob to be pregnancy tested because um, they have, at, at the moment, for um, as we approach uh, January, February, they'll be in a the, the spring calving heifers will be at a stage where they can be pregnancy tested. There'll be another um, seven or eight months before they're likely to calve again. If we can work out what, uh, which ones of those heifers are empty at that stage, we can save um, eight months worth of feed on that um, animal. Or we could even consider some of those late calving heifers, which we know from a fertility point of view, aren't going to be as likely to get in calf to the AI period next season um, because they're late calving and may end up as empty um, following there. So it's really, um, if we've got limited feed resources, we really want to be concentrating those limited feed resources for the most productive animals in the herd and the ones that are going to give us the most benefit um, going forward. Culling at the moment, um, unfortunately in this season, our culling rates are going to be higher than normal. I would be looking at, um, at first of all, trying to um, remove any non-productive cows from the herd. So cows that aren't pregnant, that aren't milking well enough, um, or cows that have some age um, on them from a fertility point of view. Obviously there are other parameters that we should be looking at such as um, cell count or mastitis, um, uh, but um, certainly from a fertility point of view, um, the cows that would be on my radar are the late calving cows, um, older cows, um, and cows that may have had difficulty at calving. On the Dairy Australia website we have a fantastic resource. Um, we have a bull management webinar that people can look at. Um, and with the Dairy Australia, with the NCAF um, book, there's also the guidelines for how many bulls we should be running um, with our cows. I would really like to encourage farmers to look at the Dairy Australia website. NCAF has got a lot of resources there at dairyaustralia.com.au. We have webinars which are very interesting to look at um, in your own time. There are case studies that, we've, that are real life examples of how people are dealing with fertility um, on their dairy farms. In some cases um, they mightn't be the absolute pinnacle of fertility but they're highly profitable farms and it's showing how they manage fertility on their farms to get a productive, uh, a, a profitable outcome. There's also the Dairy Australia in calf handbook for dairy farmers. This is a, a copy of it here. It's been recently uh, rewritten and it's got some fantastic tips throughout the, uh, throughout the booklet on how we can improve our reproductive performance on our dairy farms. Mm -hmm.